did you know you were going to like the role or was it a risk? Huge risk. I didn't know. Uh, the, I, I think there's really not a, a, any way to know. And I, I think like a lot of engineers, I was scared to, to yes. try it because it was like, what if I do this and I don't like it? Um, but, to, but at, at the end of the day, it's, I viewed it as relatively low risk. Like I could try it. And like, I knew plenty of people who tried it, didn't like it. And then went back to pro server support or just like operations type of role. So I thought, you know, what there's, I didn't see much downside to it. And then yeah. I knew pretty quickly that I, that it was a good fit for me. Um, after I started the role though. Nice. Okay. We're, we're going to talk about that. But for, for me personally, I, I became an engineer cause I didn't want to talk to people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so becoming an SE, knowing that I'm going to have to talk to customers, that was a big fear for me. And I had to really think about it, but I was severely underpaid and they pretty much doubled my salary. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to people. And turns yeah. out, <laughs> turns out <laughs> it's not, it's not as bad as I had thought in my mind. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that actually, I think that's normal. Like to, like I, I was really, I, if I think back to those first few customer calls, I had to have been so ineffective and like, so nervous, like no, no like I, 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 it, it was a learning process for yeah. sure. And like, I think like a lot of things like that social element of it, that it's just like, it becomes easy as you do it. Even somebody, I, I consider myself an introvert, even though I may not seem like it. Um, I, I'm recharged from like being alone in my room or like hanging out with my girlfriend. And, uh, but you, you, just like anything, it's like working out, you get used to it. And then yeah. you might even fall in love with it. You know, like, like some people do. It's like early on in people's career, I, I give permission to my clients to not say a word in the first few meetings beyond yeah. just saying who they are. Like you don't have to, right? If you have nothing useful to add, you're still in a phase where you're absorbing everything, but it will, come, it will become easier. And then we'll start asking the usual questions like, Hey, how many users or how many ports or what are the speeds and feeds? Right? Uh, talk about features versus uh, actually solving the problem, but that comes and people think that I'm an SE today, tomorrow I'm solving problems. Like, no, the only problems yeah. you're solving are your own at this point until you become efficient. Yeah. It. So uh, I, I would say like, um, I, in addition to your podcast, another kind of cheat, like accelerator that I had in my career was I lucked out and my very first account manager, my first sales rep partner wa was a former SE. So he had just started. So it was like amazing. Like I, I got to get proficient really fast because I had somebody who'd been doing it for like five years after every single call, getting on the horn and being like, okay, try this next time. You can do that better like that. You can't really plan that. Like most account managers weren't SEs before, but I really lucked out to, to have a good account manager and mentor there. And that was at VMware, right? It was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find VMware one of like one of the good companies to be a brand new SE at just because they coach you, they teach you. And maybe you, you locked out, you had an SE, uh, former SE as a account manager. I just find like I've attended some of the sessions that they do and their questions are just like, amazing. The way they ask their questions, they, they're taught, or I guess you, you were taught. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. You, you you can confirm or deny. Uh, we can do that <laughs> um, going back to professional services, what are some of the skills that you took with you from being a professional services engineer? to a sales engineer. Oh yeah. Pro oh, yeah. The, the number one most important skill that I learned as a professional services engineer is, um, the ability to like confidently engage in a project that you're not an expert in today. Right. So right. like in professional services, you would get asked, all, all, Hey, we, a customer needs somebody to help them optimize their Linux environment. Yeah. Well, I've never done that but like, we need, we need somebody to do it and nobody else on my team can do it. And so, um, that, that ability to like hear something and be like, I bet in a week I can figure that out good enough to deliver it to a customer. Um, that was the most important skill that I learned. And, and it, it's a combination of a skill and, and maybe the confident slash stupidity to just be like, Hey, I'll give it a try if nobody else is going to, you know? Um, and I've taken that with me, that, that is even more important as an, as an ST. You don't have to go quite as deep as you would have to in like a professional services or delivery role, but just like that, that self-confidence of being able to commit to something and kind of estimate how long it will take you personally to spin up on it is extremely valuable now. And it, it really taught me my limits um, early 